Okay, time to make another video uh, of the rock decorating that I do. This is my view, by the way, from where I sit. Um, let me bring this back. Um, I filled this barrel. I used old pretzels. I filled it with the latest batch of rocks that my wife Rhonda got me. I'm so thankful. And she also got me new paint pens. These are the best. They're fine tip uh, Posca paint pens. Between that and my Sharpies, I'm all set. Uh, so I want to just kind of go through these, and as I go through them, I'm going to put them in a bag I have over here on the side. Make sure that's open enough to get it in there. Okay. So I just want to take a good look at them once more before I get rid of them. Uh, I've been doing a little bit more ships and lighthouses. And this one, I was about to put a door on it, but I liked it better that you could just see through it. I thought about how cool it would be if the whole thing was made of mesh, like a, a lighthouse, just made of wires, you know, that you could actually see through a structure and then light up at the top and you could see through the whole thing. You could climb up to it and everything like that. And the other side, Ceylon, you matter. Nice little sailboat. Okay. So, I'm just going to go through these and take one last look at them. This one had a had a real groove in it at the top. So, I thought, hey, let me put that lizard on there. Going down in there. Uh, most of the pictures I just, uh, as I told one of my daughters, throw it onto Instagram. Because I'm going to give all of these, somebody comes and picks them up and then puts them all around St. Augustine. And uh, hopefully people will find them and enjoy them. And maybe they will post a picture on St. Augustine rocks. There's no period after the saint. Saint Augustine rocks. Let's see if that focuses. There it is. Anyway. So, these I've been uh, putting a coat of not just Elmer's glue, but like a glitter glue, just to give it a little bit of a shine. Um, this was, this one I did, uh, looked at a schooner that's real popular in St. Augustine, looked at a picture of it, and then kind of just drew it the best I could. Um, I like this one, kind of look like a, broken heart to me, the shape of the rock, so I put Psalm 3418 on there, and uh, nothing else fancy, oh, and, and You Matter on there, I like that, um, July was a drop, rock drop date for You Matter, this one, that got the angle of the frog different, which I don't always do, but that was fun to do, my fully rely on God frog. This one I realized that some of the perspective was off, but that's okay. I enjoy doing it. Okay. Hammock. This one was actually a redo. It was one that I had out front. Um, the clouds the, the, or in the blue sky was done, uh, and I had some type of landscape here, and uh, it was coated with polyurethane, but it sat on my back porch, and the sun got to it, and the elements got to it, kind of like how it's a smiley face, you know, with the two palm trees and the hammock. Um, but I... All that was left was kind of the palm trees in the sky so and a little bit of the ocean. So I went over it again. And same with the frog. I just had to go over him again because he had uh, faded and worn off. 
God provides plenty of flies. Fully rely on God. That goes well with my story, um, Shipwreck Charlie. It's on my blog. I might put that down in the description part. I like this. It was a weird shape, almost like a dice, so I put you, uh, matter. I did another one that was more like a rectangle, and I filmed a video of me flipping it, and uh, the rectangle said, always remember, you matter. I might keep this one and, and do a short video like I did with that rectangle one. Let me put it over here. Okay. Oh, upside down, landscape. This lizard's more like a gecko, you know, by his, by his, um, feet. Those lizards are a little, little fatter and rounder, and, and they have suction cups on the end of their feet. This, I wasn't happy at all with this whale, but the fish came out pretty good, so I, I liked that. The coating that I put on them helps preserve them, but it also takes some of the chalkiness from the rainforest um, pebbles that I use. This frog, again, is a different angle. Um, like it. Realize I don't have to narrate through this whole thing because it's just for whoever might see it and it's also just kind of fun to put on and look back at. So I'm not going to um, talk a whole lot. Let me pause it. 